breaking the wall of cell-free DNA. Netanel Läufer, Falling Walls Lab, Tel Aviv. Hi everyone. Have you ever wondered what happens to cells in our body when they die? Our body contains 30 trillion cells, and each day, 1% of them die. Where do they go? When a cell dies, it breaks into small pieces. Most are recycled in place, but some get away. Some cells spill their contents into the bloodstream, including their DNA, and this is called cell-free DNA. So our bloodstream contains cell-free DNA from all over the body, the brain, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys, and so on. If you have, for example, not you, someone else has, for example, breast cancer, some tumor cells from her breast will end up in her bloodstream, like Michelle showed us earlier this morning. If your kidneys are failing, there will be dead kidney cells in your bloodstream. And if you so much as drink a beer, did any of you have a drink last night? Then you probably have some li dead liver cells in your bloodstream. But don't worry, one, one, drink, is, one drink is fine. <laughs> These traces of cells are telling us a story about the state of our internal organs. Wouldn't you like to listen to the story? Our organs are literally leaving breadcrumbs for us to track. But how do we track them? How can we tell the tissue of origin of each of these traces of cells that we call cell-free DNA? The answer is DNA methylation. DNA methylation is a biological process in which the cellular identity of the cell is coded on top of its DNA, meaning each type gets a different methylation code. And this code is so persistent it, it's, so, it's so stable, it persists beyond cell death. So a cell-free DNA fragment may lost it, its cell, but it remembers where it came from. But how do we know where it came from? We need to know the methylation code for all major cell types. So for that purpose, we have collected, identified, and published the complete DNA methylation signatures of over 40 different major cell types. Now we know the code. Now we could use it to identify the contribution of the circulating cell-free DNA. Now we can take a simple blood test from someone and say, for example, this guy, heads up, you have too many dead lung cells in your bloodstream. You have a lung disease. Could be lung cancer, lung fibrosis, lung toxicity, IPF, ILD, COPD, other spooky acronyms. We can detect many of them. To summarize, we develop a powerful tool that detects cell death events from all over the body. It allows early and precise diagnosis of countless diseases, including cancer, all from a simple blood test. This kind of test will change the future of disease diagnosis and will hopefully save many lives. Our cells talk and we listen. Thank you for listening.